Capiacqua. <laughs> that sounds like, uh, I don't know, it just sounds weird. <laughs> Capricorn Aquarius, how are we doing today? Welcome to your monthly reading. Uh, this is going to be for July 2020. And we are going to take a look at a relationship you're currently in, someone you're dealing with. This is specifically for love, but something else might want to show up. Uh, keep in mind that this is the general reading, so it might already resonate with everyone, okay? If it doesn't, your individual signs are already up, so you can check them out if you haven't already. And the roles could also be reversed, so yeah, keep that in mind. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. We have impatience, wisdom, and I do like this, so I'm going to take it, destiny. Um, so I feel like you are uh, trying to rush a little bit of decision in regards to potential... Uh, the one, just saying, because that destiny card, I mean, it's destiny. Um, but yeah, I feel like you are trying to rush things a little bit. And I feel like you need to take a little moment to figure out if it really is the right time. Okay? And if you're doing, even though it's the, if, if, no, if this is your person, if this is your destiny, if you really should be doing that right now, okay? Let's see what the romance angels have to say. Make the effort. Well, maybe it is the right time. And unrequited love, what the hell? See, that's why probably it isn't the right time. And I feel like you might want to rush things, but there are things that might still need to get out of your energy between the two of you. Um, so at this make the effort, I feel like it's make the effort to wait. Make the effort to not rush anything, to take things slowly. And make the effort to trust, to trust your spirit guides that if this is really your destiny, if this person is really the one, then you'll eventually be together. Okay, right now, it might not be the right time. Okay, let's see. Let's see what the tarot has to say. So there was a lot of love here, and that's basically all I can say right now. <laughs> right now we have the current situation, we have the elimination card, so you're being guided, and this relationship is being guided, okay? Whatever is happening right now, it is meant to be happening. If you're not together with this person, you're not meant to be together with this person right now. So don't try to rush things, okay, because things might actually be better if you wait a little bit with this king of pentacles in the potential future okay things might be more stable um you might actually create instead of being so just about love and one of you might not actually be ready for a commitment um which it could actually be a, a thing for your person that could have commitment issues in the potential future i feel like that is going to change okay so don't try to rush things and you do have this knight of swords in your world energy Okay, that is very, very fast movement that I kind of need, think you need to slow down. All right, um, yeah, you definitely look at this. Ace of Swords and Ace of Wands for your side uh, and the Knight, the Nine of Wands. This Aces are, these Aces are really, really fast, okay? This is happening right now. You want it to happen right now, clearly, with that impatient card. Um, but at the same time, I feel like you're protecting yourself a little bit. It's like you're going, but you're not going 100% because you're not really sure. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, so it's like this um, card, the sentence that comes with it, 
is wisdom is knowing the difference between a calculated risk and stupidity. And what I got was that even though you know it's stupid, you're still doing it. That's why you're in the nine of wands energy. It's like, yeah, I don't think I should be doing it, but I want it now, so I'm just going to do it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not really sure if that's how it works. Okay, so really, really try to wait a little bit, okay? For your person, we have the Six of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Judgment. Yeah, they are working on themselves. And I feel like it's going to, re to come to this moment, and it might actually be soon, okay? So I feel like you just need to take, you might want to control everything, you know? And if you let go of control, this person might actually step up and make the decision to go towards you. Because right now, I feel like they are moving towards self-work. Towards, let's work on me. I want to see what's going on inside of me. Uh, what is happening. And it's, it is going to come to this point where they're like, okay, now I need to make the decision. Do I want this person in my life or not? And, I mean, if it is destiny, then they will say yes. And they will move towards you. Okay? Let's start clarifying this babies. So let's see the Knight of Swords in the current in the, um, the overall energy. King of Cups, yeah. Seven of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Again, someone might have commitment issues. Um, but there is a lot of love here. Okay? I don't think this person has acknowledged that love yet. That's why it, it's showing up the unrequited love. Um, and if you do love this person, you can wait a little bit. Can't you? You can. I think you can. Um, so there is love between the two of you, but someone is still not acknowledging it. And it's still in that, oh, I'm single, I'm free, I'm good. I don't need to justify myself to anyone. And that I feel like it's your person. But look at this. Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups. Nine cups, wish fulfillment, okay? It is coming to you, you just need to pay a little patient, okay? Let me, whoop, oh, okay. And that's basically what we have for the, the past. It's like things started, but I feel like you were the only one who acknowledged it. And this person, it's not there yet, it's looking like, okay? But you were receiving this offer of love, um, and you were like, I feel like the moment, it's not that it was love at first sight, probably it wasn't, but it was like, you know that there was something special with this person. And once you got to know them, you almost automatically were like, damn, this could be it. And you were thinking that, and that was awesome. This person, however, yeah, yeah, I feel like they still need a little bit to get there. Okay, again, it's not that they don't love you, they just don't recognize it yet. So let me see the illumination card in the current situation. Yeah, could be dealing with an aqu another Aquarius or water sign. Um, especially Scorpio here, but Five of Cups, the Death card, and King of Swords. The universe, I was saying, is going to come this moment where they will realize it. They do have the judgment here, don't they? So I feel like that moment might be sooner than you would expect. So if it could be sooner than you would expect, can't you just wait a little bit? Because this is your current situation with the Illumination card. The universe is really pushing you two together and it's pushing this person to realize that they dealt with something that they need to get over with. That's what they are doing now. And then they will bring them clarity with the King of Swords and be like, yo, don't you have someone in your life that you might, I don't know, love? And then things will happen, okay? And look at this, the fool. <laughs> The Fool, the Three of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Hierophant, that is commitment, okay? They will realize it. 
So don't spoil it. Don't ruin it. Okay. King of Pentacles in the potential future. <laughs> oh boy, you have no idea what's coming to you. Queen of Cups, the Sun, Eight of Wands. <laughs> oh my god, it just keeps getting better. The World, Ten of Freaking Pentacles, and Four of Swords. This is what I'm talking about. Right now, you could have all those butterflies and all those things and it's gonna be amazing. But don't you wanna wait to get all this love and all this happiness? The sun is the happiest card in the tarot. Okay, queen of cups, so much love, a lot of communication. There is going to be communication about it, okay? If you just trust the universe for one second, everything will change. That's basically what's saying here, okay? And Ten of Pentacles, I mean, Destiny. Do I have to say anything else? Do I? Do I? Oh my god. You're going to be so in love. And this person is going to finally recognize it. Look at this. King of Wands, Four of Wands, Commandment. And a lot of passion. Oh my god. And I just realized it. Come here, come here. Queen of Cups and King of Cups. That is a freaking powerful couple. To be honest, I do feel like you're meant to be. Not right now. And this not right now, it's, it could actually be a week. Okay, you could want to say something uh, to this person tomorrow or, there, or today or next week uh, or during this week. And all you need to do is wait like a week and things will happen. Okay? That's, it could happen half fast as that. Okay? It could also be a little bit more than that. But things are happening if you just let them happen. Okay? Um, I don't even know what to clarify. Um, let me see that nine wands. On your side. Yeah. If you're scared of getting hurt, then whatever you do, if you already have that mindset, that um, that, that, that thought in your mind, then you're going to end up being hurt. Okay? Three swords. Um, so I kind of feel like instead of doing that, really protect yourself. Okay, don't put yourself out there. And to be honest, you have to make the effort. And I feel like the best effort and the greatest um, step that you can take towards this great love is not doing shit. To be quite honest, it's not doing shit. It's just going within, evaluate how you feel about the, uh, for this person, evaluate what are your fears, what are you doing that you should, uh, what are you just looking at yourself working on yourself and once you do that I honestly feel like very quickly you'll have this person on your doorstep okay let me see the six of swords Yeah, they're going from a lot of confusion and a lot of, I don't know what I'm feeling, I don't know what this person means to me, to, okay, let's heal, let's be a better person, and then I'll understand things. Okay, let's, they probably, whoops, come here, please. Uh, they probably were very hurt in the past, and it, it, is, it takes a little bit for them to work on that, okay? We do have Aquarius energy here. We also have Fire, Sag, especially, but whoever this is, they are healing, okay? They're in the process of healing, and I feel like soon enough, you'll get them. Okay, let me see the Eight of Pentacles. Page of Swords, Two of Cups, Ace of, of Pentacles, and Nine of Swords. I feel like they are looking at old beliefs in regards to love, um, and that is creating new opportunities here. And that's when they will realize these two of cups, 
that they already have these two of cups in their life, which is who? It's Radio. This person who's watching this video. Okay? They will realize it. They will acknowledge it. Right now, the fear is just blocking that all. And they will work on it, and then everything will become clear for them. Okay, let me see the judgment. Justice, two of pentacles, um, four of, no, four, the ten of swords, and I actually saw the world here. Yeah, I do like that. Because tens are about endings, okay? So all that pain, all those old beliefs about love, it's done. Okay, and they will actually want to make things right because I feel like they will realize that they probably in the process could have ended up hurting you. And they didn't want that to happen. Okay? Yeah, they were a lot in their head about this and they are healing to be a better person here. Okay? So let's get some final messages from the universe. Messages and advice. Okay. And oh, oh Jesus. All right. <laughs> okay, there's just one here in the ground. So we have, the situation is not what it seems. Let me just grab all these so I can guide you through those. Okay, the situation is not what it seems, okay? So whatever you're thinking, it's not true. Um, and it's not that it's not true, it's just, again, you might feel like, oh, if I don't do anything, then nothing will happen. Not true. Okay, believe, trust, hang in tight, change is coming, embrace it. We also have keep an open mind here. Okay, I want to leave these two for last because they are good cards. We have follow your heart and your intuition. Okay, to follow your intuition, to get in touch with your intuition, meditate, that would help a lot. Also, um, if you're in a manifesting mood, script because i didn't get the magician but with this card i'm actually getting scripting for some reason so maybe scripting could actually help you or just journal you know just journal um connect with nature that will help you keep uh that will help keep you grounded okay you might be a little bit all over the place and you might need to ground yourself a little bit go um and this would actually be an awesome combination here Meditation and connect with nature. Do your meditation outside. That would be awesome. Okay, and then last but not at all least, we have your wishes are coming true and new beginning on the horizon. So just wait a little bit, please. Okay, so let me get some messages from your person. Okay, I'll prove it to you. I could look at you all day, all night, all the time. I can show them to you, but you probably won't be able to read them. <laughs> okay, because they are they are in yellow. Okay. I want to make love to you. Yeah. And. I feel so safe with you all. Oh, that's so sweet. So, yeah. Capricorn Aquarius. That is basically what I have for you. I hope this resonated and it helped somehow. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Okay.